This just brings everything together I just explained to you, going back to the cartoon, which is really nice. You see all these little sparklies zipping around this cloud. That's our attempt to illustrate latent heat. This is our attempt to illustrate that when water vapor condenses into liquid, all this heat energy gets released, okay? So basically we have condensation, which warms up the air inside these giant chimney clouds. The air rises like it's going up in a hot air balloon. And then as the air hits the top of the tropopause, it must spread out in all directions. And as it does so, some of the air comes back down in the center, right back down the eye of the storm. And when that air comes down, something important happens to it. It compresses and it warms. Much like you take a bicycle pump and you pump it up really hard and you feel the metal cylinder, it gets hot. That's from compressing air. And it's that warm air that builds inside the eye that gives the hurricane its real energy because this warm air is being trapped by the rotating winds of the vortex that can't escape. And when the column of air gets warmed up, the density of this air is less than its surroundings. The molecules are exerting less pressure on the surface, and that's why a column of warm air means that the pressure drops right above the ocean surface. The air rushes in to fill the low pressure void, and lo and behold, a hurricane is born. You see, these storms become kind of self-sustaining after a while. Uh, the inflow creates more rising motion, which creates sinking in the eye, which warms up the interior, which brings in more air. It's self-sustaining. Thank you.